day and night dress reveal. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to Stitches and Seams. My name is Viv and it's so good to have you back again. Um, today is about the day and night dress challenge reveal. Um, it's my day to reveal and please be sure to check out the other vloggers and bloggers. There's going to be a plethora of beautiful women in beautiful dresses coming at you guys. So check them out. So for my dresses, I chose the penny dress from Sew Over It for my day dress and I'll just put a line art in here for you so you can see. And then for my night dress, I chose the Appleton from Cashmere. And again, I'll put a line drawing in for you. Um, so when Elizabeth asked me if I would like to participate, I was kind of like, dude, can I do something besides a dress? Because I don't wear dresses. Um, and the reason why I don't wear dresses is because I can't sit like a guy. Um, so I tend to not wear dresses. Um, some of you might remember that I grew up with boys and so it's just not, it's not a natural thing for me to be all uh, prim and ladylike um, and not just be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> so anyway, um, so yeah, I was kind of on the fence about it and then I was just like, you know what, let's just go with it and like get out of the comfort zone. Um, so I did. Um, at first I was going to do some culottes that kind of like looked like a dress, but in the end I decided to just go for it. Um, now the Appleton was actually on my Make 9 for last year and I didn't get to it. So I can uh, check that block off. <laughs> I finally got it done. I am in love with this dress. Um, the print is actually from... Joanne and it is just an ITY knit um, Yes, yeah, it's, it's nothing special um, Yeah, nothing special I think it was $7.99 a yard and then I got 20% uh, off my total purchase with the coupon from Joanne. So yeah um, At first believe it or not. I was like mm -hmm. This, I couldn't find anything that I wanted because in my head I had the picture that I wanted of course and I couldn't find what I wanted um, so I settled <laughs> for this fabric and um, I'm really glad I did um, and you'll notice that both of my dresses are kind of monochromatic and I did that for a reason and the reason being uh, because I want to be able to dress them up or dress them down uh, according to whatever you know situation or occasion I might have so yeah this I've worn this as my cocktail dress and the penny dress I have worn as my coffee dress or styled them I should say so I'm going to go ahead and insert some photos right now for you of the Appleton and a little twirl so I'll see you back in a second So there's my Appleton dress. I hope you like it as much as I do. Um, I've already worn it a couple of times and I've really enjoyed it. Um, I feel pretty. I feel sexy. Because when you walk out, or when I walked out, my husband was like, hey. So that's definitely good. Um, yeah, so I definitely see some more Appletons in my future. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. I, I really am. I might be a dress convert. Shh, don't tell Elizabeth. Um, so, the coffee dress, which is my penny dress. Now, I was actually gonna go and do a different dress, and then I changed my mind last minute because that's me. <laughs> um, I was going to do the Upton dress, but and I, I had the fabric and everything for it. The problem was that I thought it was gonna end up being more of a cocktail dress than a coffee dress. So I switched gears um, and ended up going with the penny dress. And I have wanted to make 
the penny dress from Sew Over It ever since it first came out when I got the email saying that this was their next PDF pattern of the month. I was like, oh, I want to make this dress. So the penny is not actually exactly like the penny that you will see on the pattern art because I had some major issues um, even with some help from lovely lovely Amanda trying to um, show me what I needed to do and she did a great job the problem was that I had already had some issues with the um, back neck facing and the uh, collar my back neck facing ended up being exceedingly too big and I don't know how because I literally cut it out scooped a piece of paper under it picked it up and put it to where I needed it to be until I had to interface it and sew it together so did not touch it stretch it or anything like that so I have no idea um, so when it came to turning that bit under or actually outward so that you could stitch down the other side and make the placket out of it I couldn't do it because then you wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had the little notch for the collar. So I was just like, you know what, I don't care. And I left the more, I guess, wide lapel uh, look and I actually really like it. Um, I think it's very flattering. Um, it creates that V, which makes me look slightly taller, <laughs> which I'll take any day of the week. Um, and I had to shorten it quite a bit, even though I, I at first it was like T length and I really, really liked that. Um, but the dress wasn't because you know it's a circle skirt and the dress the skirt wasn't falling and I was kind of concerned about that I'm like hmm so I took it to uh, I have a friend who works in alter alterations and I took it to her and put it on and she was like oh yeah it's dropped so she marked it out for me and cut it for me because she's class act uh, very helpful to have a friend in alterations um, and it's very difficult to level a dress when you're wearing it um, and I don't have anyone here that would really be able to do that for me so friend in alterations fantastic um, so we got that leveled brought it home did a narrow hem on it and that was it so <clears throat> I really really like it I really like the silhouette on it <clears throat> excuse me and I am looking forward to wearing that. Uh, we have an occasion coming up. It's like a murder mystery era, 30, 40s era type dinner play. And uh, I'm gonna be wearing it for that. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be fun to get out of the house and do something a little bit different because I've never done anything like that and be a little dorky and awesome. So uh, yeah. Um, oh, I didn't give you my penny twirls. So I'm gonna put that in real quick. So there's the penny dress. Um, I really, really, really like both of my dresses a lot. I hope that you do too. And I want to say a massive thanks to Elizabeth at Elizabeth Made This for the invitation, the getting this whole thing together. It's a lot of work went into this. Um, and a big thank you to all the sponsors and prize donators and all that kind of stuff it, it's it's been fun and really has been fun and I hope I get to do something like this in future um, so yeah uh, that's both my dresses I hope that you like them and I hope that you all join in the day and night dress challenge as well if you do be sure and use the hashtag I'll go ahead and put it right here on the screen and tag Elizabeth made this and I'll put that on the screen also on Instagram so thanks so much for watching you guys I really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video Please thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all of the stuff everywhere. So I really appreciate it. Take care. Bye.